Well done. Welcome to Twerton Park. I understand it's your first visit here, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. And no, I've somehow never been here before, but um, it's a lot bigger and the pitch is a lot bigger than I thought. So I'm, I'm really looking forward to it. It's a, it's a great stadium. Can't wait to play here. How did the move come about? Um, sort of after my season finished at, at Tiverton, the manager just got in touch. Um, we've had a lot of dialogue over the last few weeks and um, and yeah, it was after my season finished, we just started talking. You were, you did well at Tiverton last year, scored 16 from midfield, had team finished mid-table, the level below. Are you confident you'll be able to make the step up National League side? I think so, yeah, I hope so. Um, we we had a good team last year at Tiverton and just, we didn't quite have the finish we wanted to, so... Um, I was happy with my return with it, but um, but yeah, no. Again, I'm excited to to try and make the step up, and I'm confident that I can I can do that. And not just Tiverton, you've been at in your career, you've spent some time in Canada, and so can you tell us a bit about that? Yeah, so I, I got released from Exeter a few years ago, sort of when I was 18, and then got offered a scholarship in Canada. So I, I went out there for five years, um, came back during the COVID year, so it was kind of cut short a little bit, and. Um, yeah, it, it was un- unbelievable. It was the best experience and um, the life experience I got from it was was really, really good. So um, I've just got back from there now as, as well, actually. So it was it was really, really good. Yeah, it was a scholarship, was it? Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, got off the scholarship over there. And, yeah. Um, you play, you know, a few faces here. You played alongside Alex Fletcher, of course. Any others you know? Not really. No, I know of Jordan Dyer as well. He, he was an Exeter boy. So we, we've got some people in common. I know I've seen him play. I know how good of a player he is. So... I know those two, but apart from that, I, I don't know anybody. So again, I'm just I'm looking forward to getting to meet them all and, and getting preseason going. You linked up well with Fletch, didn't you? I saw you on the score sheet together a few games at Tiverton during that aborted season. Yeah, it's it's hard not to link up with Fletch. He's he's so he's so um, so dynamic and so good. So um, we we didn't actually play that long together um, due to COVID. So I'm, I'm again looking forward to linking up with him and um, and bringing that here. Past Bath City connections at Tiverton as well, Scott, Scott and Martin Rogers. What have they been like for you? They've been brilliant. They they gave me a lot of freedom to to play at Tiverton. Um, they they were brilliant for me. Um, really helped me develop my game. Scotty, obviously being a midfielder, helped me on that level, and, and Martin with his experience as well helped me um, develop my game. So they're they're big reasons why I've, I've made the jump up. Well, what, why now to make the the jump? Like Twenty five, you've got a long time ahead of you. Feel you're perfectly ready to do it now. I think so, yeah. Um, spending the last two seasons at Tiverton has been great and I've found that I've done well at that level so I'm, I'm trying to progress as much as I can um, and obviously I know how good of a club Bath is so when the dialogue with Jerry came in it, it was a no-brainer really to try it. What are your impressions of Jerry thus far? Really good, yeah. yeah. It's the first time I've, I've met him today so uh, in face that is. Um, yeah, it's been really, really good. It seems like we, we have the same sort of values in in football and, and also off the pitch as well. So hopefully it'll be a good relationship. Does it help you, although you don't know many of the players here, that you you know you're going to have a few travel partners living where you are down in the southwest? Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Um, I think we've got, we'll, hopefully we'll have a full car. So that'll be interesting, you know, a long journey up. And um, yeah, no, th- those are the kind of things you look forward to as well, as much as playing. Again, those kind of relationships with guys. So yeah, no, looking forward. What, what are your aims for this season, personal and team-wise? I think it's just to, to play and as contribute as much as possible. Um, you know, it's, it's a big club that, that should be pushing towards the top end of the table. So for me, it's to, to try and help in the best way I can. Um, I see myself playing. I, I wouldn't be joining if I didn't. Um, and to score goals and, and contribute towards that end of the pitch. Pre-season training's underway very shortly. So you just got back from Canada. You still feeling fresh, ready to go? Yeah, yeah I, I had three weeks of full-time training over there. So I've hopefully kept in quite decent shape. Um, bit jet lag today but hopefully that will that will bounce back and um no i, I wish pre-season was, was starting now really um but can't wait for it to start yeah we look forward to seeing you in a bow city shirt as well welcome Stop, to the club thank you